You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Ground and pound that like button. And as always, thank you guys and gals for watching. We've got a big, big update on the killing of a young teenager who was using a uh, splatter ball gun and shot the gun, evidently at some guys. Well, some guys took it upon themselves to literally beat him to death. And this happened just outside of LeBron James's school up in Ohio. Well, it looks like the U.S. Marshals have caught three suspects in relation to this brutal killing. And we will get to this. This is from the New York Post. Three arrested in connection to fatal beating of Ohio teen Ethan Liming. Three men have been arrested in connection to the killing of a teenager outside LeBron James's founded Ohio High School in early June. Federal authorities announced Saturday. Ethan Liming, 17, was found beaten to death on June 2nd in the parking lot of I Promise School in Akron. In a press release, the U.S. Marshal Service revealed that the federal entity's Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force and Akron police on Saturday morning arrested Deshaun Stafford, 20, Tyler Stafford, 19, and Donovan Jones, 21, at two different residential buildings in Akron. Liming was brutally beaten to death at around 10.46 p.m. on June 2nd, authorities have said the teen died from blunt force trauma to the head after he drove around with friends and shot a water gun at people. My God, he was beaten to death over a water gun. Jesus. Liming was lying on the ground in the parking lot when the police arrived. Officials say they were unable to save him, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. There is the young man that lost his life, and... There's the water gun. I mean, really. Quote, I am happy to report today that officers with Akron Police Department made several arrests in connections to the death of Ethan Lemming. We thank the members of the community for their outpouring of support that helped investigators throughout this investigation, said Akron Police Chief Stephen Milet in a news release. While I believe the news of the arrest will be welcomed by Ethan's family and loved ones, we are all recognized that nothing will bring Ethan back. Violence in this country must stop. We are losing too many lives to senseless acts of violence. Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan said that Liming's, quote, senseless and tragic death has touched every person in our community. My thoughts and prayers remain with the entire Liming family at this time. This crime impacted an entire community, and we stand alongside the community in seeking justice for Ethan. U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott said in a statement, Police said, quote, in the moments leading up to the incident, one or more occupants in Lemming's vehicle were riding around the surrounding areas shooting the splatter ball water bead blaster at objects and possibly unsuspecting people, according to a statement in Fox News. They drove to the basketball courts where a group of teams, quote, targeted or approached the subjects who were on the court and fired the jail soft gun at them in an incident that apparently provoked the killers. On Thursday, police offered a reward for up to $30,000 for information leading to the arrest of Liming's killers. Liming's father, Bill, told Fox News in a story published Friday that his son was a loving, charitable person, quote, with a bright future ahead. Liming's father said that his son planned on becoming a lawyer. Jesus. And there are the three assholes involved. That's right. So a young man lost his life over what we just called stupid stupid kid tricks growing up. Absolutely unbelievable. At least they nailed these three guys. This happened right outside LeBron James's school in in Akron. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable situation. Very sad situation for uh Ethan's family and uh it's just a damn shame. More violence, senseless violence in this country. I mean, nobody has a sense of humor anymore, and here we are with a situation like this. We we broke this story the other day when the incident happened, when this came out, and here we are with, I'm sure, what the family hopes is the first step to a conclusion 
that will end in justice. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.